Karen, not her real name, was forced to buy her own fake money detector after falling victim to a counterfeit bill. Just last week, she was informed by a bank that a 1,000 peso bill from her car loan payment was fake. She was given a counterfeit receipt and is now planning to report it to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Eh baka makulong din po ako. Siyempre, natatakot din po ako kasi sabi ko nga po sa tanda ko pong ito, never pa po akong napeke sa pera. Part of the money came from Karen's friend who said it came straight from an ATM. Hindi po ako naniniwala na peke. Dali sa ATM, kung winodro ko, alam ko naman na lulukohin namin sa iyo. Patagal na namin kay Pigan yun. The bank that owns the machine is now looking into the matter. Other ADM users have also expressed their concerns over the incident. Yung may mga pera na ano na nabubugos dito. Mm-hmm. Kaya pag ano nag-withdraw na po ako ay tinitingnan ko rin mabuti kung ano para mm-hmm. iwas. Hindi natin dapat maranasan 'yun kasi sa kanila nga nanggagaling yung pera eh. So bakit tayo dapat yung maghassle? Dapat silang maghassle doon. The BSP for its part is reminding the public to always check banknotes through the feel-look-tilt approach. A bill is legit if one can feel that a security paper is used and prints are embossed. One can also look for a watermark, scattered security fibers, asymmetrical serial numbers, and the word Pilipino in baybayin. Lastly, tilt it to see the movements of the colors and design bearing the denomination value and the word BSP. Colors of the embossed denomination value and the pearl place on the side should also change. Holders of a suspected counterfeit banknote are advised to immediately report it to the bank that owns the machine. The fake bill should be replaced if proven that it came from the ATM. Banks will also be held liable if they fail to observe protection measures for their clients. ATM services are part of core banking function of deposit taking and banks are bound by law to exercise the highest degree of diligence. The BSP is now looking at tighter measures for currency operations. Currently, production of counterfeit money carries a jail sentence of at least 12 years and a maximum fine of 2 million pesos. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.